फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन टू डेज वीडियो आई वु टेल यू अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बट बिफोर दैट इफ यू आर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो द फर्स्ट टाइम देन प्लीज फ्रेंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल फॉर मेनी अदर वीडियोज एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट एनी टॉपिक देन प्लीज सेंड मी द टॉपिक इन द कमेंट लिस्ट नाउ वॉट इज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज द फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन दिस इज द डेफिनेशन वी लर्न बाय आर्ट फ्रॉम मेनी सैंड But it is a means we often heard that it is a flow of electrons in a metallic conductor. We say that there is lot of space in the metallic conductor where the free electrons are set, and when we apply the PD means a cell, that electrons flow. Does it really flows? Yes, friend, it flows. So it is clear that electricity is a flow of electrons. in a circuit or around circuit now the electrons flow in this direction means means in the conductor the electrons move from here to here in a means they are now flowing in same motion means they are all going here but when this is means in this figure we have to think that pd is attached means a cell is attached but if there would not be any cell then this electron would be in random motion so to bring electron in a particular motion we need a cell now for that only if pd is not created we do not get electricity and whenever pd is created means there is difference between the potential levels then the electron flow in a particular direction and we see that we see electric current so electric current is none other than when pb is applied to a metal or any conductor which has electrons now how to find a current in a circuit what is the formula for it now let i be the current q be the charge on any particular area and t be the time so i is equal to q by t means current is equal to charge by time now the si unit of charge is coulomb charge on a electron is 1.6 into 10 to the minus 19 coulomb now one ampere of charge is equal to 1 coulomb by 1 second now the definition of one ampere one ampere is if one coulomb of charge is Passing through a cross-sectional area in one second, then it is one ampere current. Now the current is measured very small. So milli ampere and micro ampere are the units. Milli ampere is equal to ten raised to minus three ampere, and micro ampere is equal to ten raised to minus six ampere. So friends, now I will tell you further. We can solve various numericals. We have we have we have watched. That current is equal to q by t. So if two units of that means two values are given, like current and charge, then we can find we can find time. Or if time and one more value is given, we can find the other. So in this way, various numericals can be solved. And these numericals are very easy. Just we have to just know one thing that all the units should be same in SI unit. Or in uh, means you can take in other units. But all should be in SI unit. That will be better. Just as current should be in ampere and charge should be in coulomb and time should be in seconds, then only your answer will be correct. If you take the current in milli ampere and others both same, then the answer will be wrong. So friends, now I will tell you about electric circuit. What is electric circuit? A continuous path consisting of Conducting wires and other resistance between the terminals of a battery, along which a circuit, a electric current flows, is called a circuit. Now, electrical circuits are represented by drawing circuit diagrams. A diagram which represents indicates how different components in a circuit have been connected by using the electrical symbols. So the component is called circuit diagram. Every component has a symbol. 
Now you are seeing a circuit diagram in front of. This diagram is wrong. It does not consist of any symbol. So now I will tell you another figure which will contains about symbol. In this diagram, there are symbols which represents the actual things. Like this is a light bulb. It is just a symbol. The symbol of conducting wire is just a straight line. It is a switch. The symbol of switch. The symbol of battery is not like that, but in many a circuit diagram, it is shown like this. Now, what is exactly a conventional direction? The electrons flow from the negative terminal to positive terminal of the cell. Means they flow from here to negative to positive. But when we show the direction, we just show the direction from positive to negative in the circuit. It is because to give many aspects to give rewards to the scientists which have first discovered that potential difference is from greater terminal to lower terminal. Now, exactly what is mean by potential difference? PD is actually a potential difference. Now, if I take this here is more heated wall, here is less heated wall, and the heat will go from here to here. Means, we take the example of water column. If here is more water, here is less water and we join them. The water will flow from here to here. This is PD. PD is nothing but potential difference in the flow. Thank you friends for watching this video. In this video, many topics like electricity, potential difference, etc. would be clear to you. But if you have doubted anything on any topic, please send me that in the comment later. And friends, please subscribe my channel. Thank you friends.